Hey babes, what's up and welcome back. It's your girl Midnight Moon and today I'm bringing you an exciting video. So excited to be trying out this product that Influencer sent me. They did send me NYX's Total Control Pro Drop Foundation. So this is a newer version of their Total Control Foundation. And what I have noticed between these two foundations, I haven't tried the other one out, but I noticed this new and improved formula has a bigger shade range. Also, this is a vegan and cruelty-free product, so all my animal bunny lovers out there, perfect for you. Um, I love NYX Cosmetics. I haven't ran into that many products that haven't really worked for me, but we're going to go ahead and test this out and try it out. If you like this video so far, then give a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Also comment, let me know if you've tried NYX Total Control Foundation and if you want to try the newest foundation, which is this Total Control Pro Drop Foundation. Uh, I did have the Influencer box, the Vox box to show you, but unfortunately something happened to my SD card and the first intro I had filmed for you guys is no longer there. It just like disappeared. I don't know where it went, but... We're back here filming a new intro, and that's also why I had to let you guys know I'm wearing another shirt, a different shirt. If you guys don't know what Influencer is, it is a community for influencers, like me, who love to review. So if you like to review products, you should go check it out. All you got to do is uh, create your profile, connect your social media accounts, and start reviewing products. Once you start reviewing products... Influencer will get a feel of what type of products you like and like to review. For example, food, drinks, beauty, skincare, anything of the sort. And from there, they base that on what they send you. So the more reviews you may do for beauty products, the more beauty products, Vox boxes, you may receive. These Vox boxes are sent to me for 100% honest reviews. I do not review... Unless I'm being honest, I don't like people who hit me up and be like, oh, can you try my product and give me five stars? No, miss. Because there's people like me who rely on reviews and we want to really find out if a product is good or not. And for you to put a five star when it's not really a five star product, that just sucks. It's just, and you can't tell because people aren't telling the truth nowadays. But you can even look it up for yourself. Influencer is a completely 100% free spot where you can go to and basically just do reviews to get free products. And then when you do get these Vox boxes, you have to review them. So here we are. So if you enjoyed this video so far, make sure to give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos like this one. I do have a special top secret box box coming out for you guys next week so i can't speak about it yet because it's not in stores but i can't wait to share that with you so definitely subscribe and hit the bell please i'll give you a minute I'll give you a minute okay and just keep on watching as always stay beautifully awesome guys i love you So before we get started, I did just want to show you guys what the product looks like. Like I said, I do not have the box. I wish I did because I wanted to show you the whole unboxing process and what it actually came in. But um, unfortunately, I can't. Next time, definitely. But uh, this is the NYX. Let's see if I can get it. NYX Total Control Pro Drop Foundation. And this one is in the shade Soft Beige which is TCPDF 7.5, if you want to get technical. So it comes with a little dropper, which I think is awesome. I've never seen a foundation with a dropper. Like I said, I didn't even know about the NYX Total Control regular foundation. The consistency on the foundation right now for me looks kind of a bit liquidy card I didn't get to completely show you how I put it on so when you see this video it's gonna skip straight to how the drops look on my face but I did have a main problem and that main problem was that 
the foundation is too watery for me it's a good foundation but it's just way too watery like i was spilling this almost everywhere every time i was trying to drop it on my face a drop fell down and went somewhere else on my clothes so that's another thing i don't like but just keep on watching and you'll find out more so this is how it looks like i said it feels very watery i'm not sure if i really like that but let's go ahead and blend and try it out so we're gonna use the beauty blender first on this side So already I can tell it has some really nice coverage on it. I still don't like the fact that it is so watery. That part is just still getting me. And yes, it is definitely... Well, I'll know once I get to my neck. But it definitely looks already a lot lighter than what my skin color actually is. All right, guys, so there you go. There's one side with the beauty blender. And now we're going to do the other side with the um, kabuki brush. So I really do like the beauty blender. It just feels like so much softer and smoother on the face. Lay down. I feel like it's giving me. I need you to lay down, take a nap. Now. I feel like the beauty blender might be better for this. The brush is still working just as well, but I just like the flawlessness of the foundation with the beauty blender. It comes very close though, very close to how it looks with the Beauty Blender. So it definitely, guys, definitely this shade is way too light. Yes, guys, so this this is definitely way too light for my skin. Um, I think I am going to try to get their little pigment so I can mix it in and find my shade. So I also do feel like, um, of course, the sponge doesn't pack as much product on as the brush side does but like I said it's pretty pretty darn close so this is the side with the beauty blender and this is the side with this kabuki brush oh I just poked myself in the eye I'm blind eh. I look so white So based off first impressions, I really like this foundation, but it's still too light for me. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera. Well, I know I can. I could see that my upper half is way lighter than right here. It also has more of a reddish tint to it. And I'm not, I feel like my skin tone has changed. So I used to be more on the red side, but this was years ago and I'm not as red anymore. But, um... As of the texture, it feels very nice. It doesn't feel drying. It's not oily. I'm just going to go ahead and finish putting on the rest of my makeup. And from there, we'll go through the day wear test and see if we really like it. If it gets oily, if it dries up in cracks, or if it just doesn't look good under other makeup products. So the time right now is... Well, I gotta get up and look. So the time right now is 2.45.
I'm going to try to keep it on until maybe 9 o'clock tonight. And I'll have updates every few hours for you guys to see how this goes. Hey guys, so I'm back and it is 4.57, almost 5 o'clock. Foundation is doing pretty good right now, but I do feel like it's starting to get a little tight right around here. Uh, besides that, it's holding up pretty well. Even with the makeup and everything on top of it, I'm really liking it. Um, yeah, that's my update for right now. I'll come back in a few more hours and let you know. Hey guys, so it is the end of my day. I am in my jammies, officially. And I'm about to take this makeup off. I actually got like some mascara right in my eye. So I'm flipping out right now, I need to take this off. So I'm doing this last video. So foundation stayed on. Um, It doesn't look like it did. Excuse my kids. <laughs> They're playing. But, um, so it looked like it did its job. It did good. It held up. My skin does not feel oily one bit. I did set it with powder. But, um, it feels great. It's still feels a little dry around my eyes. Um, the same areas it did earlier. But, uh, besides that, it's been doing really good. And it is officially 8.17. Thank you guys for watching. That is the end of this video. Definitely subscribe if you haven't yet. If you really enjoyed this video, leave a comment. Let me know if you like this makeup look. And uh, yeah, that's it guys. Love you. Stay tuned for my next Vox Box.